Hey and welcome to another one of my videos. Um, this one is going to be, um, hopefully it's going to be quite interesting. Um, <laughs> not to say that my other ones aren't. Um, this one's going to be on clustering uh, and clustering with um, Samba. So um, the idea is is that um, you know you may or may not have an existing um, file sharing environment and you want to get rid of you know the single point of failure within your um, file sharing environment um, and want to do it all free so um, here's what the, the labs going to look like so we've got um, two CentOS 5 boxes here uh, we then have um, open filer as our back-end iSCSI um, storage appliance um, and then to this is our very privileged user and we are serving up that particular service to them so we're serving up on a virtual IP address of 10.0.1.100 um, that is where the users files are going to be stored so that that GFS um, mount is coming from uh, the iSCSI storage from OpenFiler uh, and then we have um, Samba as the method of serving it back out to this very privileged user. Um, we're running two subnets so we have one here which is uh, 10.0.1.0/24 network and then we have another one over here which is 192.168.1.0/24 network um, this one here obviously has an IP address in each subnet and they each have an IP address in the subnet facing the quote unquote SAN. Open filer is sitting at 192.168.1.3. Okay, uh, well I think that's about it for the intro. Uh, let's go ahead and start the um, setup of the lab. So we want to do a new team pick a location now the location that I'm going to pick is is the D drive so if I go browse make a new folder I'm gonna call it GFS cluster version 2 because as you can see at the top I've already got one going to copy that because I want all my VMs to be in the same place uh, and I'm going to call this GFS cluster version 2 add some virtual machines now I already have some um, templates for CentOS 5 now I'm not going to show you how to install CentOS because uh, it's very very boring uh, especially to do it twice so as long as I can find my template here, there it is. You see it's the 64-bit version as well. Now um, the install is pretty much all defaults. In fact um, there are no applications. There's a bit during the CentOS install where it goes and tells you um, which groups and applications would you install. Well I haven't installed any of it. It's completely blank. Um, the only thing that I think I might have turned off is um, SE Linux, the, um, the secure um, kernel extension which doesn't allow you to do certain parts of the clustering. Um, and that's about it. Um, so going back to our cloning here, um, so we're cloning from the template, linked clone, and then we need to give it a location. I'm just going to call this node 1, and then a path of node 1. And then again, This one, of course, is node 2, and that's relating to here node 1 and node 2. Okay, now the next one we need is uh, an open filer template. Now, again, I would probably expect you to be doing the install at this point. Uh, and somewhere in here, there it is. Now the important bit with the open filer template 
if you want to actually see an install then you have to go to one of my other videos um, but um, the interesting thing with open Fire is that when you're configuring the virtual machine only configure it with one hard drive um, and the the reason is for that is because open filer tends to bring in the extra hard drives that for example you intend to have as your iSCSI um, partitions it tends to bring those in as open filer partitions i.e. to install the OS on and not dedicated kind of data partitions so um, and, and I'll, I'll show you about adding the hard drives in a minute so that's open filer and what's the last one we need? We need a workstation. Okay, well that's going to be Windows XP Professional, and I should have a template of that sitting around here somewhere as well. There it is. Okay, so there's our node one, node two, open filer, which is going to be our SAN, and there's our workstation. Now, land segments, we need two. We need one for this area, and we need one for this area. I'm going to leave that for the moment because I want to give them some names beforehand. Okay, so we're going to call this one actually LAN, and we're going to call this one SAN. And that's roughly in the right order. Okay, um, now each node we want to have three network cards, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, let's not add it there, let's add it individually. So let's go into node one. That's a setup for node one. You see, it's only got one network card at the moment, and we want to add two more. Don't worry about what this setting is because we'll be changing in it in a second. Okay, so the first one I want to go to the SAN, and the second one I want to go to the LAN, and the third one I want to be bridged. Now, the reason I want it to be bridged, um, and I'm not indicating a third network card on here, um, is because the only reason for having it is for going out and getting packages and things. Um, so that's why it's not shown in our in our lab, but it but it is there. Okay, so SAN, LAN, and then bridged. Let's do the same for node 2. So, first one, or second one even, and this is the third one. Okay, first one is going to SAN, second one is going to LAN, and third one is bridged. Now, open filer that only has one and it's going to the SAN now the XP workstation I want to actually to have it as two because it's serving two functions it is going to have a um, although it's going to be going out on here as a client it's also we wanted to almost have a back door into the SAN um, because we want to be able to things like access the open file administration interface so let's do that so we don't need a floppy drive we don't need a sound card, we don't need a USB controller, and we need another network adapter. Okay, and now LAN, and then SAN. Okay, let's boot these guys up. It's the first node coming up. There goes the second one. I'll tell you what I've forgotten to do with the open filer one is actually is add those extra hard drives that I was talking about. So if we're quick, I wonder if we can catch that. Okay, and it certainly doesn't need a that or that. Okay, so we want to give it an extra hard drive. 
So create new virtual disk, SCSI, um, and we want it a bit more than that. Let's do 20 gig. Uh, and we're going to call this open filer dash data. Now let's power it back on again. Okay, that's starting up VMware tools now. That's now successfully booting up Open Filer, and um, Windows XP is loading. Good. What I'll probably do, this might take a while to load it up, so I'm just going to pause the video um, in 